Good afternoon, mga kapamilya. We're on a countdown here at the Phil Oil Flying B Center sa lungsod ng San Juan dahil nalalapit na ang Final Four dito sa Premier Volleyball League Open Conference 2019. Now, a couple of teams are down to their last two games, katulad ng ating Petrogas Angels, the currently in the number two slot, pero para sa Valley Pure Purest Water Defenders, ito na ang kanilang huling laban sa ating troneo. Malamig man sa labas ng arena, nagliliyab dito sa loob as these two teams will fight it out this Sunday afternoon. Now, you're watching the live and exclusive coverage ng ating PBL 2019 on Liga, Liga HD Sports.abs-cbn.com slash livestream slash PBL, PremierVolleyballLeague.com, and of course, sa ating I Want. Again, magandang hapon mga kapamilya. Ako po si Denise Tinsay at mga kasama nyo ngayong hapon of course to talk about all of our games and exciting matchup none other than Noringo and of course giving us exclusive coverage stories of our players. We have Ann Basa. Now, wag na natin ito patagalin dahil excited na kaming lahat. Ito ang PBL 2019. elimination round and to end this volleyball weekend we will be having a match between the Bali Pier Water Defenders and the Petrogas Angels. Last October 16 the Petrogas Angels secured a spot in the semi-finals after defeating Air Force in three straight sets. Well for the Bali Pier Water Defenders their last game was October 12 and although they did start strong in their match against Team Modalite their efforts were still not enough as they lost in three straight sets. Kaya, Noreen and Denise, I'm sure both teams will be putting up a fight today knowing that the Petrogas Angels want to stay in the top two and the Bali Pier Water Defenders will be playing their last game. That's true and uh, that's why there's so many things at stake here especially for the Bali Pier Pierce Water Defenders because I'm sure they also want to end well. Pero yun nga, Noreen, can you give us a recap? Dahil patapos na ang ating PBL 2019. How are the other teams faring in this competition? Well, you know, the participants already in our final four or semifinals are, are set. It's just a matter of seeding. As you can see, cream line at the, at the top four, uh, 15 and 0. But and then Petrogas, 10 and 4. Motolite, Paco Perlas, 10 and 5, 10 and 6. And you can see the rest, no? But it's more of... Our semi-final cast is already set. It's really more of seeding. That's why for Petrogas, they want to win today. But again, you said nga, Bali Pier, their final match. They want to go out in style, so they want to win as well. That's true, but at the same time, ito na yung Petrogas Angels, during their last meeting, they also really won in style by defeating our Bali Pier Purest Water Defenders in three straight sets. Yeah, that went three straight sets, no? Uh, Petrogas defeated Bali Pier 25-22, 25-18, 25-16. To Angels took spikes. Blocks and points off errors, non-scoring skills as well, digs. But Balipir took aces and reception. So, you know, for today's game, Balipir has to have that mentality, nothing to lose. Let's just play, enjoy, and hopefully get our first win. And that's true. You know, nga, Anne, there is so much that the fans can expect. But how can they, you know, keep up to date with all the things that can happen this Sunday afternoon? Okay, guys, if you have any thoughts or comments on today's match, be sure to tweet us at ABS-CBN Sports and use the hashtag, hashtag PVL2019. And you can also check out our Instagram page for exclusive photos at ABS-CBN Sports. And to keep up to date of all things Premier Volleyball League, you can check out the number one sports website of the Philippines at sports.abs-cbn.com. Lastly, be sure to like, share, and follow our Facebook page. We're close to a million likes. We have 992,147 likes. That's true. Now, thank you so much for that. And, and we're so excited to hear the stories of all of our players dahil sa ating pagbabalik. Pag-uusapan naman natin ang dalawang kapunan na mag-aarap ngayong hapon. Ito ang PBL 2019. You're still watching the premiere of Volleyball League Open Conference. As you can see now on your screens, both teams at midcourt. At yun nga, ito na nga ang last, 
you know, the last time that the Bali prepares water defenders will be going against here at our PBL 2019. Pero bago yan, yung nahan rin, na na during the last game of our Pierce water defenders, they were sadly defeated in a three straight sets. Yeah, it was pretty lopsided, no? They lost 16 to 25, 21 to 25, 19 to 25. Motolite just played like a team on fire, having their, their eyes set on obviously the final four. They won in all scoring and non-scoring skills. But we have to mention, we like to get the positives from that game and the positives Bombita scoring 13 points and Menchis Tubiera scoring 9 points. So these are the things you want to look out into the, today's game. And now joining us here in the panel, one of the powerhouses ng Bali Pure Pure's Water Defenders. None other than Menchi Tubiera. Menchi, Hello welcome. Hi, Menchi. We're so glad that you're here with us. And of course, excited na kami talaga na kung ano yung papakita mo in today's game. Pero bago yan, ano yung kakailanganin ng team mo para talaga you'll be able to end well in this tournament? Kailangan namin mag-contribute lahat. Lahat ng nasa loob ng court, kailangan makatulong, tsaka magsama-sama kami, at tsaka maglaro kami ng as a family and as a team. Ako, for, for me, no, this conference, no, what are your goals for next conference? Ano yung mga natuto nyo this conference na going to next conference na kailangan nyo i-improve? Siguro yung consistency namin. Kailangan kasi kung, na, kung makaangat, may dapat dire-diretso. Hindi kami hihinto. Dapat mas nagdagam pa namin yung kailangan namin gampanan. Pero ano yung magiging, hindi naman final message, but so far, I guess, a word of encouragement to your teammates at saka lahat ng mga fans ng Valley Prepares Water Defenders na sinuportahan kayo sa buong tournament na to. Um, sa mga sumaporta po sa amin sa Bali Pure, maraming salamat po. Sana po hindi kayo magsawa sa pagsuporta at lagi, po kaming, lagi nyo po kaming gabayan. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Menji. And excited na kami para panoorin kayo Thank mamaya. You Thank you. Good Thank you. luck. Thank you po. Now let's talk about, Noreen, the performance of Bali Pure in this whole tournament. Aside from, of course, Menji Tubiera, who has been shining for the team. Yeah, I think it's more of, for, for me, Bali Pure, it should be a learning experience, no? That's why I asked her, what are your goals for next conference? Because I'm sure we're going to see them again. We have these players like Bombita scoring 13 points, 11 digs, Tobiera 9 and 11. So you can see, there are well there are well-rounded players in, for Bali Pure. And you want that for next conference, you'd improve, continue to improve, and hopefully get more wins. I know, for sure, it's gonna they're going to come back stronger, yeah. better, as they have come back in this tournament. There's so many things that they are willing to improve on for the next upcoming PBL. But when we come back, we're going to talk about the man, the other team. So stay tuned, mga kapamilya. Ito po ang PBL 2019. Now let's talk about the number two, the current number two right now in our PBL conference. The Petrogas Angels now, looking back at their last game against the Air Force, that's what you call, nakita natin yung talagang reigning champions ng ano, previous conference, Noreen. Talagang three straight sets, everyone. That's was what the Angels are all about. Yeah, I mean, obviously a dominating performance. Three straight sets, 25-20, 25-15, and 14. They really limited Air Force in that match. They won in spikes, aces, points off airs, and sets and reception. So they're looking good. They even got 15 points from Jonas Abet and 11 for Prado. So they have their eyes actually, I think, on this team. It's a final. And I'm sure, of course, they would also want to get that back-to-back -back championship. And right now, we're being joined by the playmaker of the Petrogas Angels, Janelle Cheng. Janelle, welcome. And uh, gusto ko naman tanungin ngayon, parang what would it take, you know, for the team? At this time, alam ko naging problema nyo. Medyo diesel nga kayo. Pero ito, ma-assert nyo talaga yung dominance nyo beginning pa lang ng game. Um, siguro, uh, yung ginagawa namin, dadagdagan pa po namin. And siguro, ang iniiwasan po kasi dagan namin yung mag-slow start po. Siguro, ang target namin, first five, five points yun. So, Achia! Okay ba? Okay. <laughs> then, then because uh, ngayon, important yung seeding, no? Going into the final four. Do you feel more pressure last two games now? Um, sa training naman, or kami, personally, wala namang pressure kasi uh, gagawin, lang naman, gagawin lang naman namin yung training namin and kung ano yung magagandang nagagawa namin yung games. Oh, so talagang, their eyes are on the prize right now and we're excited to see what the Petrogas Angels have in store for us this afternoon. Thank you so much, Janelle, you, and good luck. Good luck. You mentioned one of the high scorers for our Petrogas Angels, Jonas Sabete. You know, Jonas Sabete for me, yeah, when she started off, I mean, when we follow her career, may inconsistencies. Eh? Those are the problems, no? But you see her potential. She's very athletic. And she's been proved in this conference that she's a go to person in that match. 15 points, 10 digs. Again, evolved to be an all around player and somebody 
that they can go to in every match. And that's true. Now, speaking of go to, mga kapamilya, you can always go to all of our social media just to stay updated on all things Premier Volleyball League. You can check out our Instagram page at ABS Even Sports. You can also tweet us at ABS Even Sports with the hashtag PBL2019. And tuloy tuloy lang po ang like follow, and share of our Facebook page. That's Premier Volleyball League. And of course, joining us today, aside from, of course, our panels, Noreen and all of our players providing us good music, we have none other than DJ Louie. So, so many things that will add excitement in today's uh, Sunday's game. Now, sa aming pagbalik, magsisimula na po ang laban, kaya stay tuned. Presenting our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Mr. Nesco, Matematico. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Petrogas Angels. Team captain is number five, Relea Ferina Sae. At number one, Cherry Rose Nunag. Wearing jersey number four, Stephanie Mercado. At number six, Jeanette Panaga. Number 16, Jonah Sabete. And number 19, Jovelyn Grace Prado. Liberals are number 10, Rika Jane Enclona. And number 18, Cien Cruz. Head coach, Mr. Arnold Lanyol. Calling on our Valley Pure, purest water defenders. At number one, Miracle May Mendoza. Wearing jersey number two, Satriani Espiritu. Number eight, Menchi Tupiera. Number nine, Vira May Guillema. At number 11, Shirley Salamagos. And number 14, Katrina Raceles. Liberos are number three, Jewel Vermilio. And number five, Glaika Medina. Head coach, Mr. Romel Abelli. This is match number 16. You're watching the second game of our Sunday doubleheader, and it's the Petrogas Angels versus the Balipure Purest Water Defenders. Again, live on Liga, Liga HD on Iwan. And of course, the number one sports website, uh, Filipina Sports at ABS CBN.com. And as you can see on your screens, you're seeing familiar faces para sa lineup for our Petrogas Angels who are looking to also end this tournament, this round two with a win. At the same time, ito nga ang Bali Pure Pure's Water Defenders on their last match for our Open Conference. And the game begins here at set one. Yeah, just a correction there before we start. Now we saw the starters. One of the starters for Bali Pure is Bompita. And she's not actually part of the starters in today's game. And I actually don't see her. Um, in the, with the team. I guess we can wait for Hans report later for set one. But you can see here, Manchi Tobiera already being aggressive in set one for that first point for the Valley Pier Pier squad of defenders. Yeah. Well, the question right now, or the challenge right now for Valley Pier, obviously your ace Two. hitter is Grace Bobita. She is, for whatever reason, she's not part of the lineup or the, the first six at least, no? Who's going to step up? We know we talked about Menchi, but it can't be just Menchi. Man. Remember, it's their last game. You want to go out in style. Maybe if you don't win, at least make a nice match out of this. It's your fair, you know, Norina, Grace is their captain, and I don't know how her absence would affect the uh, water defenders in today's game. Then. I think it also might be all sentimental reasons that it's the last game, and yet their captain isn't here. Yeah, it could be, but uh, it's also, you know, call, a wake-up call for the others that, okay, we can't rely on Grace Bombita's 30 points, 20 points, and once upon a time, 30 points. <laughs> you know, we've got, if we want to enjoy this game, we all have to contribute. Ooh, quick hit there by Jeanette Padaga. And now we're tied at 2-2. Look at that again. Great setup by Chisa. And That's a great set here, right? Bobby Prado serving. We're tied at 2 yeah, now, now if you're Petrogas, okay, you're going up against a team that's already out of contention. 
you don't want to extend this by playing, you know, slow, starting, slow, being complacent because you also want to end this as quick as possible to prevent injuries because you're you're looking at semi-finals already. Mm -hmm. And so many yeah. players yeah. of some other teams down. like Bangkok Berlas have had really? their players yeah. to um, such injuries. Yeah. And we don't want that happening at the latter end of the tournament. You know how semis that Cream Knight is still undefeated and of course, you still want to be able to put up a fight against the powerhouses here. Exactly that. I mean, it's a long conference. It's a long season. Two rounds. And you know these players, these teams, they train every day, oh, sometimes twice a day. So it will take its toll on their bodies. That's why a lot of injuries you mentioned, Baco Perlas is a team plagued by injuries. And you don't want to watch the semis, especially the finals, and then with one person down because. One person, two people down because. Parang you want them healthy para equal footing. Exactly. It's <laughs> a, parang magiging send off na rin yun sa Sea Games. Kaya everyone That's wants true. to end up on a very high note when this tournament oh, ends. Pero whoa, we're again at the dead lock. Oh, rather, that was 4-3 oh, with Jonathan Allen again with a point. We keep looking it off the blocker. Jeanette Panana. Super competitive. It's great seeing Pangs already uh, not just be quite a scare on the off on the defensive as she usually is known for even back in college but also in the offense as she's displayed so much of her skills here in her open conference with her quick hits but I think parang na offset niya with the absence of her blocking yeah well for me she found a home with Petrogas and we, we know that she played for another team in uh, other conferences and she, you can see it's very comfortable with Chisa it with Cheng ooh and gets a ball. They were very much comfortable with that hit to get that point. Six to three. Look at that. Yeah, we talked about her, Jonas Abete. Fifty points. Fifteen. In, in a team, can you imagine in a team that everyone can contribute and you score fifteen? There must you must be doing something <laughs> right, right? Credits to their playmakers, their setters, Saif, and of course Cheng Dai. I think oh, they God. had two players in double digits, three. and then three players that were tied at seven. Yeah. But only two players in that team did not get the point. So that's how amazing the Petrogas Angels are performing. And they remember because they're the defending champions of the reinforced conference. But a lot of people, a lot of talk saying, okay, because of the imports. So the, for me, this team right now is something to do. That we can show the fans, the viewers, that we can actually contend for the, the, the title even without these imports. So we also say that they also have a deep bench, you know? Actually, they do. They really do. But it's like, when you have imports like Bel Masalas, I think it's kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, of course... <laughs> Not put the focus on them, but we're seeing them shine here at their open conference. And the point is 7 4. The point lead para sa ating Petrogas Angels. Pero, Celis. Yun, walang ng bola ni Raselis. Ah, and this is one person who's obviously stepping in for Grace Bombita. Doesn't normally start. In between the arms of Paneng Mercado. Serves. Five, serving seven. Well, pretty good start for Bali Pure. Just down by two. Not bad. And I know, meron pa silang ibubuga. Pero, and speaking of, uh, that point will be going to Cherry Duda to lead us to our first technical timeout. And people of all ages, such as our kids, as you can see on your screens right now, Enjoying here our matchup between the Valkyrie First Water Defenders and the Petrogas Angels. Nga, I'm sure but you see Sati is spiritual dancing on your screens right now. <laughs> At least you know they're enjoying it. And I think, you know, despite whatever the result will be with today's game, I think they were happy, I guess, with how they played that. They knew that they gave it their all. And it's really all about moving forward. Yeah, that's true. And obviously, they need the uh, rebuilding talk of Bali Pure. And the first, uh, maybe off-season adjustments, recruits. But you love really the way they support us. It's a tight schedule. Sometimes some teams have back-to-back -back with the on tour. Really but they really power good. through for the fans, for the sport, for their team. Yeah, that's true. Let's look at this to play again. Yeah, speaking of power through. Sati. <laughs> Sati and Spirit who has been powering through throughout the whole tournament. Too long. And that's a service error. Nine, six from 
Mendoza. Again, three point lead. Ang kita tala dito ng Petrogas Angels. Jonas Abeta naman ang magsiserve. It's nine, serve six. You know, if you're bad at here, you don't want. Sure, we always say any team, the man really does not want to commit errors, no. But you really need to check those, especially your services. Make Petro Gas work for their cause. Make Petro Gas, and you know when they score a point, it's not because of your errors, but they deserve that point. That should be their mindset in the today's game. They have to put up a fight. But right now, put up one of our fight and Basa with this report and what they have for us. Denise and Noreen, earlier I was able to speak to one of the unsung heroes for the Battle Gear Water Defenders, and she's also currently the number four best blocker in the league. This is no other than Sati Espiritu. Sati is known to bring the energy and positivity on the court because she said that she doesn't have to worry about bad mood or negative. She also adds that being a jolly person on court helps the team stay energized and aware while playing. Kaya sabi niya in today's game, you'll expect the same energy and fighting spirit from Sati. And she even added, nalaban kami hanggang dulo. Kahit last game na namin, nalaban pa rin kasi hindi pa ito tapos. And I'm sure tala talagang nalaban ang team para sa kanilang Captain Grace Bombita because she is currently not feeling well due to her fever. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Anne. And nga, if not injuries, fevers, it has been uh, like the weather nowadays that a lot of people have succumbed to, you know, cough and colds, yeah. and I think it's important that we stay, you know, we take care of ourselves. Imagine the glylo na ngayon dengue virus, eh, di ba? I mean, there was a month, like two months ago, it's called dengue. Well, seven. But we're seeing here the Petrogas Angels with a dominating five-point lead. Twelve, serving seven. Service. Cherry Nuna on the service area. Ooh, three points. Service oh, error. Look like a rushed serve for Rudan. And you know, I said that I'm going to read that while Balipur, you know, of course, they shouldn't let their the their errors be the cause of the points for Petrogas. At the same time, we don't need that for our Petrogas Angels. As you say that, as you say that, Petrogas, they return the favor. Thirteen serving eight. Set one. Let's see you when will Jenna Chang come on the court. Yeah, and Manchi Tobiera. Great save there by Jonas Abete. This is Elakai Rado. Again, Tobiera with a soft touch this time. Oh, good save. Drops to the reflexes of Jonas Abete. And Aman, but it's Olen. Yeah, Tobiera. And three times this time she gets it in. Nine. Persistence is a must. <laughs> Never give up on Never the ball. Look at that. This time around, the Dina Yuna Salonisa Beta. So, all props to, to Biera. Yeah, you know this this person also, Sito Biera. When I, the first time I saw her, I said, I said, she's very athletic. She can jump really high. And it's so nice to see now the power in her stride. And she can actually do a lot more. And can you imagine how deadly she can be? Actually, when we interviewed her a while ago, I think that was the first time I saw her smile and laugh. <laughs> because on the court, she's, she has her poker face on, her game face on, and I was like, when she smiled, but I couldn't even react to it. Like, whoa! Man, she Tobiera knows she's how to smile! She's got teeth! <laughs> she's got teeth, but like... Oh, and the thing is, she's also a mom! With that kind of fierceness, yeah! Uh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's thanks to, of course, one of her actors also, Sinjin Reyes, for providing some yeah, interesting facts. Angels that now they're at 15. Let's look at that play again. Back set, set to a Panay Mercado. Over receive there. You know how good a set that was. No blockers. Three points for Valley Pure. Another service error there by Jovi Prado. But still, 5 point lead for the Angels. Comfortable lead. Comfortable lead. But at least for me, for Valley Pure, 10 or 5, that's fine. I mean, a five-point lead. That's fine. That's what you want. Just play your game. She saw it again. Open oh, Mercado. Play. Ooh, block. <laughs> but that's it's outside. Mendoza. Point to Mendoza. Back-to-back yeah. -back points here for our Pierce Water defenders. Vermilio setting it up for Mendoza. Yeah, off the block there. And she to Biera. 
11, serving 15. Ayat. Ooh, quick hit, pero expected by Salamagos. Punta naman kay Prado from the back row. Siliema to Mendoza. Ooh, strong blocking. Yera, powering too. Oh, Abete. strong hit. By Jonas Abete. To lead us to second technical timeout. 11. Again, DJ Louie here, keeping us company. That's why all of our volleyball players can dance during the timeouts. Also, giving them good vibes on the court. Talagang enjoy na enjoy dahil they have good music all the way through in this game. Our first time ko nagipang serious si DJ Louie. Baka na-realize na yung seriousness of the yeah. game. I think he also needs some good vibes to be spread today. Yeah. Oh, but here, you can see a sobrang prop talaga to all of our fans here at the PBL for really supporting their teams. Rain or shine, yeah. whether it's a weekend or a weekday, gano katagal yung masses nandito sila para to cheer. Especially some games, they can even last until 9.30. <laughs> so many Wednesdays ago. <laughs> so many. Mga five setters, that would be ball. like ten setters. Well, six. But here we are with the point. Fresh up a second technical timeout. It's 12, serving 16. I think this is Salamagos, yep. Up to serve for Valley Pure. Challenge them, you know, good serves. A couple of good, good serves from Valley Pure. And good digs also from the spikes of the Petrogas Angels. Okay. And that doesn't make it through. And that was good effort though by their libero, Shen Cruz. Their three point na lang ang lead. I think Petrogas Angels from five to three. But um, that's what you what you want to see, you know. Good serve from Bali Pure. Maybe another one. Just make a match out of this. It's true, and Coach Ramel, I'm sure, is pretty happy with how the Bali Pure Pure's water defenders have caught up. Uh, whoa, what a blocking party by Mendoza and the Spirit. And that's what's nice about what Bali Pure is doing right now. They're playing well. No, they're not playing tight. And what is the effect on Petrogas? You're putting pressure on them, and they're probably wondering. Why can't we lead by so much that we're just up by two? And then when they start thinking, they start doubting, that's when Valipir has the biggest chance of maybe stealing the first shot. And considering they're not really the tallest team in the league right now, but they're getting their timings right, and they're getting everything right, especially with Sadi's group of being the catalyst for our Pure's water defenders. Kai Balwalwa entering the court. Ito rin, itong spark plug para sa ating Petrogas Angels. Always. And, uh, Renel Cheng. Babalik na for our Petrogas Angels. What a dig. Luna Sabete, soft punch, short move. You know, we gotta give credit to Jovi Prado for that dig. Let's look at that again. Well, she's been hitting it strong. In the second tactical timeout, but here you're seeing the variations in her attacks. Yeah. One thing she developed. Oh, Sadi is smart target to Janelle Cheng. Para makakuha ng sure na puntos sa first one in defenders. One out, 12, one. At hindi na natin pumasok na si Gual. For the, for our girls in blue. And here it is, Coach Ramel setting up his play to in. Get the lead against the Petrogas Angels. And yeah, Lerman Mendoza wins her rest here. For the water defenders. 15 serving 18. Cheng setting it up. Ooh. Kai Balwawa breaking down the block. Like you mentioned, Denise, no? Spark plug. Spark plug off the bench, it's the top bench. It doesn't matter if she's coming off the bench. For sure, she will be able to score a point and get it immediately. From her here, Jonas Abete set one with already three attack points. Oh, pero Papa Wea and Isani is currently with her own quick attack. Tonight has been successful there. And now, I'm sure Nunag is thinking, I have to block this girl. <laughs> How do I stop this girl? For the water defenders. Marcel is serving. Point lead, Chang. Ooh, Jovi Prado. 
Balwal. Bigay kay Tobiera. Mapasa ni Balwalwa. Big hit by Sati. This time around, Cherry Nula was there. Oh. Technique na niya. Oh, and the point. That's four and touches already for the Pierce Water Defenders. And the point will go to our Petrogas Angels. Sayang, no? Tobiera actually had the, the chance to get it, but she collided with somebody, lost her footing. She but yeah, I mean, Luna probably is really studying how to stop Espiritu. Sati's been on the roll here at set one. Ooh, and this time around it was Pangs who blocked Tobiera. We're seeing a long rally here. Kai Balwalwa. That is outside. Point to the girls in blue. Chance now for Bali Bali and this time around, Peña will be subbing in for Espiritu. Service specialist. Yeah, I was going to say more for serves, obviously, at defense. For the Patria Peña, 17, serving 20. Good serve. Chang back set to Kai. Well, Bibi Gay naman kay Tobiera ulit. Got a block by. Ooh, over received, <laughs> but that works. This time we go to Salamagos for a single block. Oh, by still alive. The ball is still alive. Again, Kai Palualwa. Kenya was there. Tobiera trying to close that. Oh. Yeah. But the tandem of Palualwa and Panaka was no match. As they go with a 21 17, and they'll go to a timeout first for Coach Romel. with encouraging words telling them great puzzle. 21 serving 17. Coach Jamal, so happy with the performance that Balipur has been doing. I think this is better than compared to the previous game. Yes, yes. Where he was quite frustrated. You're right. I mean, they're just playing, I think, beyond expectations right now. And they're really enjoying You see, there's less pressure and frustration that they're emitting right now in the game. You see the smiles. Petrogas. That's fresh door, you know. Four, eight, 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 we're seeing such a good thing from the absence of their captain, Grace Bombita, because you're seeing all the players here from the Bali Pier Pure Water Defenders just stepping up. Yeah. And, you know, every time a, a situation arises, you have to look at it as an opportunity. Right? I mean, it's really how you view the situation. And for the rest of the ba Bali Pier Pure Water Defenders, it's an opportunity to play well. I always say that to make a man out of this because Petrogas and Tabor obviously expected to win, even in straight sets. What are you going to do about it if you're about it? But you can see that cross court hit by Jomi Prado. Di magpapatalo. Three points already, and we're still set one. Ooh, an overseed works well for our purest water defenders. That's uncharacteristic. Of uh, Panaga, normally she's all over the the free ball. Yes, but I think she also wasn't expecting to actually for it to go to the other court. The Bali Pure Pierce Water Defenders keeping our current number two on their toes right now. Pero yung pinawi na ni Panaga, dahil hindi niya na expect yung previous play na yon. Pero the call first for timeout. Score is 23-19 by Coach Roman again.
Okay? Nag-aalangan din sila pag nakikita nila sila nakamay, nag-aalangan din sila. So pag pinasok natin 'yon, tumama yung bola. Sa kanila pa. Here the purest water defenders of course trying to stay alive in set 1 dahil 2 points na lang at mananalo na ng set 1 ang Petrogas Angels babalik si Chi Sai on the court as Pax Banagao will be serving she's the scoring leader this conference I mean, look at those numbers 93 attacks 28 blocks 22 aces Pax Banaga and another point awarded to our Angels to lead us at set point. At set point. It's a clear example. When in doubt, yeah. I mean, there's a block. They're saying, oh, it's going to go out there. Mm -hmm. Better to be safe than sorry. Exactly, exactly. And you see the Valkyrie Pierce Water defenders scrambling for that play. Nunag setting it up for Prado. Roselis was there. Guillema, bibigay ulit kay Roselis. Roselis. Oh. In between the blocks of Nunag and Mercado. That's not easy. That's not an easy thing to do. And it was smooth. Like it just went straight down. Celebration for Roselis. Uh, Sati Espiritu checks back in. 20 serving 24. Salamagos in the service area. Again, our angels at set point. Oh. And the set for Petro. And the uh, service error Good. for Salamagos will end set one. Here at the Premier Volleyball League Open Conference, it's the Petrogas Angels versus the Bali Pure Purest Water Defenders.